Hey guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, it is time for the January Made by Mommy Craft Challenge. Let's open the box. I hope everyone's having a really good start to the year. Um, I haven't done anything. I started classes and I'm trying to get the Etsy shops in order, making some flowers and stuff. It's embarrassing. Anyways, more acrylic paints. Oh, maybe I should read the rules first if anything's changed. Here are the rules. Um, you can use glue, crepe tape, water, crayons, markers, and any sort of rolls from home. No other crafting tools may be added to your projects. You can use scissors and other basic tools. No tools that require electricity. You do not need to use every box. Try to include at least five different items. Once again, you can use boxes, 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 it's like a little wine glass thing. I guess that does it. Aw, okay. Because of New Year's and everything, I get it, I get it. I get the thing. Oh, uh, it's, a, oh. Oh, it's falling. Another craft paper roll. We have a party hat. That'll do. Uh, let's get some of these papers out. We've got some white tissue paper. Construction paper, it's like a, like a manila like a manila construction paper. And we also have, ooh, ooh, ooh. we also have some cardstock. Pretty thick stuff. I don't have any room to put everything because my life is a mess right now. A little plastic basket. Another treat bag. Oh, a little heart doily. Uh, more of the plastic canvas. Little beads. Another Toilet paper roll thing. I found the eyewear. I love it. We've got some, I don't know what you call these, like little, kind of like floral something, with the thing, you know, you see them. This is fun. We've got pom-poms. I see a Valentine's Day color scheme happening. This is for January, isn't it? And then the rest is packing peanuts. I didn't think that through. Oh, and the box. I'll open the treat bag. Popsicle sticks. We've got, oh, I've got some plain wooden ones. And these are interesting. You can see the colors I got, but they're foam. Red lace ribbon stuff. Another bracelet kit. Strand bands, designer inspired accessories. Strand bands, strand styler. Oh, another little baby glue. More construction, no. More pipe cleaners. More of these little things. I don't, they're like little cups. Ooh, I keep trying to say. This is like pipe cleaner, but not. See, it's got like a different type of fiber on it, but it is on a wire, so it's kind of, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Some of this little like garland stuff with like hearts. A little plastic baby. Smarties, yes. I'm gonna eat these. Two little kids kissing. So definitely a Valentine's Day theme. Some embroidery floss. Is that what you call this? That's what I'm calling it. Embroidery floss string stuff. Two pieces of ribbon. So much stuff in the bag. Three more white balloons. More of those plastic embellishment things. And another baby. Where do you find all of these tiny babies? Safety pins. I've got a handful of toothpicks. Five of these little plastic spoons. And I also have another coffee stirrer. Coffee stirrer and the treat bag itself. I feel like this one's kind of harder. I feel like this is an interesting box because I'm not really ready for Valentine's Day yet, but you're forcing me to be ready, so. There's that. I don't know. So I'm going to sort all of my stuff, have it laid out over on my table, and see where I wanna go from there. I keep looking at the screen at myself, and I'm like talking to myself, but really I should be looking here, right here at you, cause I love you. Ooh, before I get into the actual challenge, I wanted to show you guys, you see this right here behind me? I'm making a miniature village for the bazaar. I don't want to talk about this too much because this video is about the craft challenge, but 
Um, I did want to share that one of my brands is a Bohemian Bazaar, and that's where I make and sell 112th scale dollhouse miniatures. And this little village is actually so much smaller than what I normally work. Where this house is this big, normally the houses I work on are like this big. So it's definitely a challenge, and I'm going to be posting videos of all that. I've actually had another YouTube channel for the Bazaar set up for a couple years, I've just never posted to it. I'll have the link down below if anyone's interested. I will be sharing like tutorials for miniature foods, as well as works in progress of projects like this, contest entries for miniature, contests that I enter and stuff. So yeah. Tangent! Isn't that what Mommy and Gracie say? Something about a tangent. Tangent! Tangent! So for this month's challenge, I actually did a lot of brainstorming with Claiborne because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. And she actually suggested that I take the balloons and make some sort of heart decoration. And since we have been watching a lot of Grey's Anatomy, I thought it would be kind of a cool idea to, instead of do a regular Valentine's Day heart, to do an anatomical heart. So I actually tried to manipulate one of the balloons to get it into the general shape of a human heart. I started using some string and then I ended up getting the shape that I want with clear tape. Then I took some of the construction paper and watered down liquid glue and started adding a layer of paper mache. This took quite a while and it ended up getting so messy that I couldn't really hold the heart. So I had to stop and let it dry and then work on something else and then come back to it. So this project ended up taking me about two days to finish. While it was drying, I went ahead and started on the stand. I ended up putting the popsicle sticks together, kind of in a platform shape. And since I only have two hands, I needed some something to hold it together. So I just used some tape that I had. And as it was drying, I cut out a circle. But since I didn't have a compass, I had to use the plastic canvas and a safety pin to kind of make a circle myself. And then to make sure that it dried flat, I put it under a stack of textbooks because we have plenty of those. Then while that was drying, I took one of the paper rolls and I cut it into sections of an inch because these are gonna be the feet for the platform. And then it was more paper mache and more paper mache. <laughs> Then I added the legs to the platform. And then once the initial layer of paper mache was set up, I went back with another layer using the cardstock. Since the cardstock was so thick, I had to crumple it up to make it fit the shape better, which worked out better for me anyways because it was easier to smooth out once it was crumpled. And in the end, it gave a really cool texture. Then I took those foam popsicle stick things and I glued them around the edge of my platform because I thought this finished it off really well and gave it a more uniform shape. And I also drilled a hole in the middle of the platform with my X-Acto knife for a stick to go in later to hold up the heart. Then I made the general shape of some of the major veins and arteries with packing peanuts and also one of those little plastic cups. And once those were all glued in place, I started covering those in paper mache. And then to give the platform a more uniform look, I also covered that in paper mache. I was hoping to make the platform look like it was covered in like a weathered leather or something. And I also cut out a little plaque from one of the foam pieces. To make the coffee stir a little bit sturdier to hold up the heart, I tried to stuff it with toothpicks, but it ended up cracking anyways and bending and I couldn't use it. So what I ended up using for the stand instead is actually the paintbrush from the acrylic paint set. I had to continue doing the paper mache in patches because like I said before, I couldn't hold the heart in my hands while the whole thing was wet, so I had to do some parts to let it dry, come back and do the rest. So here I am using the paintbrush as a stand and then painting the platform. I started off doing washes of black because I wanted it to look kind of weathered. 
then I didn't like how it looked so I ended up just doing a really thick layer of black and I also did a few washes of paint over the heart to give it a little bit more depth as well as adding some highlights here and there then I realized that the heart wouldn't stand up on just one stick so I ended up going back with a couple of the toothpicks and added two more back behind the middle one which kind of ended up being like a tripod and it worked way better then I used some of the silver beads from the bracelet kit to look like studs along the edges of the leather. They were actually pretty easy to cut in half with an X-Acto knife and I added that foam plaque that I made earlier to the front of it. Here it is at that point. It was looking a little too dark for me and like Claiborne said it was very death metal punk rock. So I did want to lighten it up a little bit. Before I did that though, I wanted to add a little bit more detail by adding some veins over certain parts of the heart. I used the embroidery thread and glued it on and then kind of branched out the ends to look like branching veins. Then I did more washes of lighter pinks and white to kind of brighten up the heart a little bit and lighten it up. And as for the stand, I mixed together some yellow and red paint and then a little bit of black and it made a pretty decent brown color. So I covered the whole base with that. It ends up being a little bit more flat than I like, but maybe later I can come back with some highlight or something like that. So that's it. I hope you like how it turned out. I'm pleasantly surprised and it took me forever. So I was actually pretty ready to be done with it. If you liked how it turned out, please give this video a like, and if you want to watch more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. I'm making it a personal goal of mine to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I really hope you'll help me with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to find me on any other social media or anything like that, you can find the links below. Find me at Christopher Blake, and that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. One more thing before I end this video. I want you guys to see, I want you guys to see just how hard this paper mache gets. Okay, so here's the heart. This is my wooden table. Like, that's so hard. And I, I had to pop the balloon to make it go on the stake. And um, so now the balloon is just in there, rattling around. And it's so. It's so hard. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy.